Hello students, this is Dr. Aarti, Professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Telangana University, Dichpalli Nizamabad, Telangana State. I am here to explain you the computer applications third semester subject programming with C and C++ unit 4 flow of control. As we have already seen in the program design step, there are some sequential steps to execute or else to solve a particular task. These sequential steps should not be all the time to, to be executed in a sequential manner. The executing these steps is nothing but a flow, flow of the steps. There needs to be some control in order to solve some particular task. There are n number of flow of controls in the C programming language. In order to control these sequential flows, these instructions were either executed in the only once or they may be executed in the sequential order in which they appeared in the program. In the real world program, this is most unrealistic since they do not include any logical control structures. But a realistic program generally includes tests to determine if certain conditions are true or false. It requires repeated executions of group of statements and involve execution of individual group of statements on selective basis. The else is generally applicable to the immediately proceeding if condition. What is actually the flow of control? Flow control refers to the execution order of statements or instructions in a program. It allows the developers or programmers to control these flow or sequence of codes of execution based on some certain conditions or certain criteria. These flow of control statements are used to make some decisions. Based on those decisions, we need to repeat the blocks of code and to jump to a specific selected code in this flow of control. There are n number of different flow of types of flow of control statements in C programming language. The first one is conditional statements. These statements allows the programmer to make a decision based on the condition. If the condition is you, true, certain set of instructions will be executed. If the condition is false, another, another set of in instructions were executed. The main important conditional statement is if statement. If statement executes some set of codes, set of codes is always called as a block of code. So, if condition, if statement executes that block of code if the condition is true. So, first it will verify the condition. If the condition is true, it will execute the blocks of codes. And the next conditional statement is if else statement means it the block of code will be executed if the condition is true. If the condition is false means else, the block of code that is written in the else will be executed. This is nothing but if then else. If the condition is true, one set of block of code. If the condition is false, another set of block of code will be executed in if else statements. And the third one is else if statements. So, if there are more no's or if there are more false means if the condition is true, one set of statements will be executed. If the condition is false, another set of statements are executed. If the condition is again false in the else statements, another set of statements will be executed means in else another if will be there means if the condition is true set of statements are executed else again if it will verify another if statement in else so if in else if the condition is again true it will execute the statements that are immediately after that if else again if you want to include one more if statement in the else you can continue that 
till you reach to the final destination of blocks of codes. This is also called as else if else if ladder. And the next is nested if statements. Nested if statements is in one if statement another if statement is nested in between is nothing but nested if statement means if statement if condition in that condition again one set of if the condition is true one set of statements will be executed but before going to the else statement in the block of code itself if you encounter any if statement that is called as nested if means if in a if if in a if is nothing but nested if statements and the another most important conditional statement is switch statement switch statement is the best alternate for the if else if ladder switch statement is nothing but in the switch statement if one expression is evaluated based on the expression that expression evaluates some value if the based on the value it will execute the block of code which is indicated with that value in terms of case so if the in exp so in the switch statement if the expression is giving some value that value will be as a label to the case words case statements so if k if the expression eval evaluates 0 then case 0 block of code will be executed if the expression evaluates 1 case 1 block of code will be executed like how it will go to the it will directly jump to that particular case unlike your if else if in the if else if ladder you have to follow that sequential manner if the condition is true then block of code else again you have to verify if the condition is true then you go for the next statement else you have to go for the next statement in like how you have to go all you have to trace or you have to follow all the sequence of statements though you know that they are wrong though there is no possibility of directly jumping to the particular code which is true whereas in switch statement there is no need of going them in a sequential manner like how we read the uh, movie uh, songs in a tape recorder suppose if you want to read a, a particular fifth song in a tape recorder you have what you have to do either you have to listen all the four songs then only you can go to the fifth song or else you have to fast forward those four songs then only you can go to the fifth song this is how means at any cost you can't escape these four songs to listen to the fifth song whereas in cd if you wanted to read that uh, fifth song directly you can go to that fifth song you can just skip all the first four songs that is how the switch statement will work suppose if the condition is is giving one particular value directly it will go to that case statement only it will skip all the remaining case statements so that you are time complexity will be reduced to the maximum possible extent. So, this is how the switch is the best possible alternate for an if else if statement. Next is the looping statements. In the looping statements where the block of code is repeated multiple number of times same code will be if you wanted to repeat the same code multiple number of times. Suppose if I wanted to take a class today, I wanted to take the same old class for the tomorrow. I wanted if I wanted to take the same old class day after tomorrow also. So, same set of instruction should be repeated again, again and again. Suppose if you want, if I want to continue the same old class for a one week, same set of statements will be continued for a one week. So, after one week, the statements will be changed, isn't it? So, for loop, we will verify that condition, whether that one week has completed or not. If the one week is completed, it will execute, it will come out of those statements. In the same way, the for loop will execute the block of code for a fixed number of iteration, like how I mentioned one week, no? Suppose if I wanted to take three days, it will verify, verify for the, it will execute those statements for those three days. If I wanted to take for one week, it will execute those statements for seven days. Nothing but fixed number of times, it will do the same old process. That's it. doing the same old process is nothing but do iterations so it will do the iterations up to the number of fixed number of iterations which we have mentioned in the for loop for loop is a very most useful uh, looping statement that we will come across in our programming languages and the next loop is while loop while loop is nothing but repeat a block of code as long as a certain condition is true if the condition is true then the then the block will be repeated it will be repeated n number of times till the condition 
goes to the false suppose if i want to repeat it for 10 times it will it will it will do it for first time again it will verify second time it will do the same old statements in the second time third time fourth time again it will ver verify for the 10 time 10 times means the number of iteration whether they are lesser than 10 or not it will verify that condition if it is equal to the 10 times then it will come out of that loop of code this is how the while loop will be executed do while is almost similar to while loop but the thing is before verifying the condition uh, without considering the condition at least the loop will block of code will be executed in the do statement first the set of statements are executed then the condition is verified means irrespective of the truth value of the condition whether it is true or false statements are executed exactly once let me give you one very good example suppose if i ask my students to come to the class regularly suppose if you take the admission you are allowed to enter into my class let us take the condition is if your admission is there you have to come to my class so for each and every time it will verify for the student whether he has been admitted in, admitted into the class then are admitted into my third uh, department then he will be entered to into my class so all the time before entering into the class the condition will be verified if if the student is not admitted then it will come out of the loop suppose if i take to the same old students from tomorrow onwards you are not supposed to come to the class those who are absent to my class how can i tell to them before taking first class first i have to take the class then i should identify the students who are absent for them i have to instruct so definitely i have to take the first class so where i need to take the first class then i have to verify the condition means do while statement at the beginning itself i'm i'm before admission only I'm confirming whether they are our students then only I'm taking the classmates that is the while loop this is the major difference between while and do while statements next control statements are break statements continue statement go to statement and return statements actually these control transfer statements transfer the control to the next block of code uh, which which is not uh, sequential statements these are called as jump statements the first jump statement is break statement when we are doing executing some set of statements suppose if we wanted to come out of those block of code we can give just break so if you give break it will not execute the next set of instructions it will come out of the loop without executing the suppose there are 10 instructions are there in a block of code if you give break after third statement it will not execute from fourth statement to sixth statement it will come out of the loop only it will execute the first three statements then it will come out of the statement that is break next is continue statement continue statement is nothing but suppose if you give a continue word after the third statement it will come out of the control means it will not execute fourth to sixth statement but again it will start from first it will start from first to second third statements also means give a break and start from the beginning continue means break and start from the beginning break means again it will not enter into the loop once it will break it will break out of the code block of code whereas continue means give a break and again you start that itself is called as continue statement that is the difference between break and continue break is a single break continue is nothing but break plus start break again start this is the continue statement next is go to statement go to statement means suppose if you are doing the set of statements 10 statements at the third statement if you give go to sixth statement directly without executing fourth and fifth statement it will go to the sixth statement so suppose if there are conditions where you doesn't require to execute fourth and fifth statements there you can give go to statement next is return statement Return statement means suppose if you write any function, function should return some value. It has to give some value to the program. So those return values will be collected in the return statement. Return will return from the function. Return statement is used to come out of the function. 
see this is the if statement the if statement is one of the most as we have already discussed just see the syntax of if statement if condition condition will be verified immediately after if in the parenthesis if the condition is true then that block of code which is there in the square brackets will be executed in the flower bracket which is nothing but a block of code will be executed if the condition is if the test condition is true that block of code is executed if the test condition is false that block of code is skipped this is if else statement see the syntax if the condition is true the statements which are there in the first block of code will be executed if the condition is false that first block of code will be skipped and it will come to the block of code which is there after the else statement see we have we, we are finding the two blocks of codes if the condition is true first block of code will be executed if the condition is false second block of code will be executed and this is else if statement as i said you earlier if the condition is true first block of code is executed else again after else you are encountering one more if statement see if condition statements else again one if statement in the else instead of going to the another block of code in the else you are calling if again so in the else again if condition is true one block of code is executed again you will go to the if in the if again one more if this is like a ladder this is like a ladder that's why it is called as else if else if else if ladder till you reach to the last point if you wanted to conclude this else if statement at the final else don't invite the if statement at the final else conclude the concluding block of code should be written in the final else statement without inviting the if statement this is called as else if statement so then the looping statements the as we have already discussed the while loop do while loop and for loop are the basic looping statements that we are encountering in c programming these looping statements are already i i told you that these looping statements are used to execute the block of code multiple times how many times will be depending on the condition truth value if the condition truth value is uh, will be repeated for 10 times 10 times it will be repeated if it is if it is exited if, if the condition is false it will come out of the loop without executing it also so this is how the looping statements works see the uh, syntax while condition un until and unless the condition is true the statements are executed if the condition is false then only the c statements will be come out of the statements so always once the block of code is executed the control will go to the while loop again the control will go up to the while loop again again it will for each and every execution of the block of code the control will go to the while loop again for each and every time it will verify the condition based on the condition only again it will enter into the block of code again it will enter into the condition again if the condition is true that the block of code this is the repeated one that's why it is called as loop it will start do the block of code again it will start the loop with while very um, for verification of the condition so this is like a loop verifying the condition doing the execution again verifying the condition doing the block of code this is a kind of loop that's why these are called as looping statements this is do while statement see as i told you earlier the condition here we are not uh, verifying the condition at the beginning of the uh, flow of control at the beginning of the block of code first we are allowing the block of code to be executed once we are allowing the block of code to be executed once irrespective of the condition once it, the block of code will be executed after it is executed then we are verifying the condition so for whatever it may be the condition whether the condition is true or false the block of code will be executed at least once at least once in the do while statement so based on the condition it will de depends it will it will it be executed more than once or not but at least once is mandatory in the do while statement where this mandatory statement is not there in the while loop this is the only difference between while and 
do while statement in while statement the block of code may or may not be executed based on the condition or it may be executed zero or more times in while loop it do while loop it will be executed one or more times so mandatorily one times the block of code will be executed in the do while statement for loop for loop is a most important uh, flow of uh, flow control statement in the c programming in the for loop it will be divided into th three parts it consists of initialization part condition part and increment or decrement part right in the initialization part it will initialize the beginning of the loop means the variables that we are using in the for loop will be initialized whatever the with the values that we give either it will be initialized to 0 or 1 whatever the initialization steps that we wanted to use in the for loop for the variables will be initialized in the initialization step step whereas in the condition condition part the condition will be verified how long that this loop should be executed where while we have verified in the while condition no there directly while we are giving the condition whereas in the for loop first we have to initialize then we have to give the condition initialization part condition part will be there after this condition you have to give the increment or decrement part means when that condition should stop when that condition should terminate so that termination process should be uh, best uh, depends on the increment or decrement part if the condition of the expression is evaluates to true then the block of code which is there in the for loop will be executed and then once the block of code is executed then it will either increment or decrement the values that we have mentioned in the increment or decrement part this part will be continue this entire process will be continued until the condition evaluates to the false if the condition is evaluates to the false whatever the value that is there at the at that point in the increment decrement value will be the final values of those values so whatever the output that you get will be the final output of the for loop so this is how the for loop syntax is for initialization initialization next is a condition next is the incrementation or decrementation these three parts will be separated with the semicolon semicolon is a delimiter for these three parts so initialization followed by semicolon followed by condition followed by semicolon again the increment or decrement part after that the block of code begins so based on the initialization steps the block of code will start if the condition is true once the block of code is uh, executed then either it will be incremented or decremented whatever that you mention in the for loop these are the flow of statements that we have discussed till now let us go with a small recap the flow of control statements in c language are broadly divided into three types one is conditional statements then is looping statements then is iteration or jump statements in the conditional statements what we have discussed if statement if else statement if else if ladder and the switch statement these are the four statements and apart from these we have also also discussed nested if statements and we have also seen the difference between if else if ladder and the switch statement the switch statement is the most efficient among this if statement and if else if statement and switch statement if you compare the switch statement and if else if statement switch statement will take very less code program time complexity as well as the space complexity will be reduced if you use the switch statement instead of if else if ladder and we have also discussed how the program time complexity will be reduced in the if statement compared to in the switch statement compared to if else if ladder in the switch statement directly the uh, based on the evaluation of the expression it will go to the direct statement direct set of blocks by avoiding all the intermediate block of codes directly it will go to that particular block of code it will execute and there in the switch statement we will encounter one break statement also break statement in the switch statement will come out of the block of code from where we wanted to execute after executing the selective block of code then the break will be implemented in the switch statement it will break 
it will come out that break will come out of the entire switch statement again it will not enter into the switch statement after it execute the block of code so where is suppose if the if else if ladder is of uh, 10 if else ifs are there so if you use in instead of those 10 if else ifs if you use a single switch statement so it will skip nine times of executing that if else if ladder only in a single step the switch statement will go to that particular block of code so this will reduce nine times the time complexity of the particular program so this is the best way of using the program though if you use if else if nothing will happen but this is the best practice of using switch statement instead of if else if statements and not only that in switch statements more for more than one expression we can go for a single uh, block of code so suppose if if the evaluation suppose if you wanted to give let us take uh, for a season uh, February, March, April, May we wanted to give it as summer. So in the switch if you give the season is equal to February, March, April and May for both the four for all those four cases can give to the single output that is this is summer. So this will give you the is, this will lead to the block of code of that case where it will uh, give the uh, some uh, February, March, April, May. So, three, four cases we are giving the single block of code that it is summer. Like how you can do enormous changes in the uh, switch statement and you can give n number of block of codes to a single case or else more than one cases will execute with a single block of code. This is how the difference between if else if as this is more important I am stressing on this if else if and switch statement. And the next is looping statements that we have discussed. We have discussed for loop, while loop and do while loop. Most of the time we will use the for loop. This for loop is also used for the, I mean multiple for loops will be there. For loop nested for loops will be there. Suppose if you wanted to address two dimensional things, we will use two for loops, two nested for loops. Suppose if you wanted to do three dimensional, if you wanted to work on three dimensional matrices, then you will go with the three for loops, three nested for loops. So in the for loops also n number of variations are there. So there are some situations where there is no need of giving any initialization. There are some condition where there is no need of giving any condition. There are some situations where there is no need of giving increment. There are some first statements, do you believe it or not? There are some first statements where there is no initialization, condition and increment. Everything will be kept blank for dash semicolon and no just a space semicolon again space semicolon and close the for loop. This is the for loop which is called as infinite for loop. This infinite for loop will be generally used for the compiler and general, generally used for the operating system because irrespective of the program, irrespective of the programming language that you use, irrespective of the way that you use the, your system, operating system should work till you switch off your system. So operating system itself is a program which has to be executed continuously till you switch off your system or if the power switches off. So for those kind operating system itself is a program I said no. So the operating system program entire operating system program will be kept in a single infinite for loop. So that for loop will be continued 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 till you switch off your system means operating system in the computer will be switched on that program will start working if you immediately immediately your system if you start your system and that operating system will terminate its execution when you switch off your system so meanwhile in the entire process of uh, you are switching on your si system your operating system should work so entire operating system should be placed in a single infinite for loop this is how we can conclude I mean we can use the for loop also there are n number of variations of for loop also similarly while loop and do while loop is also very much useful when you are going to write a very lengthy code and when you wanted to repeat the same old things n number of times which also reduces the a very enormous amount of system time and the next is the jump statements jump statements also as we have seen break continue go to and return statements these are the statements which can be used in intermediately in uh, your for loop as well as in your uh, case statements or in, uh, in your switch statements or in any other 
other these can be embedded with another control statements also these are the different types of flow of controls if you know the flow of control statements then it will be easier for you to write any programming language if you are good at your flow of controls then it will be easier for you to write any kind of programming language thank you